Hey you guys, so this is the second day in Texas and I'm a little behind, but guys, the mornings here are so beautiful. It's so cool, the hot, it's, oh my gosh, and the sun is just beautiful. I just, uh, I can't even, can't even put into words how beautiful it is, the mornings in Texas. So I'm gonna do some voiceovers in this video. So today we are in Waco, Texas. We have an appointment at one o'clock with a realtor, but right now we are at like the Magnolias Chippin. What's her face? But we're gonna go check it out. Take you guys for um, take you guys along with us, and yeah, I hope you guys last liked our little vlog from yesterday. Not too much. All right. Chip's Corner! <laughs> Babe, that's Chip's Corner. So I have to do a voiceover just because uh, I can't, I don't know, I can't find a way to put the music on here. And I uh, don't, for copyright issues, I'm just going to do a voiceover. And yeah, so this was a really cool pen. It's like multi-purpose, but it was like $60 or something like that. I don't remember, it was a lot. If you guys can tell on the screen when we turned it around, <laughs> he was like, it's expensive. Her store or their store is a little bit pricey. I'm not going to lie. Uh, some things I feel like I can make myself. <laughs> I didn't get to record the beginning of the store. I uh, had a lot of household items, candles, floral, baskets, uh, kitchen stuff, kitchen towels. Uh, but I was FaceTiming my mom because I wanted her to get a quick look and see if she had wanted anything. But uh, they have a lot of things here. Um, it was a really nice experience. Just like I said, a little pricey. And it was it was fun. Um, I'm already back home, you guys. So I'm going to try to catch up and throw some videos out. I have um, a few videos I want to get out there. So, yeah. Um, they're very uh, Christian-like. They're Christian-like. They are Christians. And a lot of their things have like Bible verses on it. Really pretty. This, you guys, was leather. Gorgeous. And then this was like metal, I think. Really pretty. You're going to see up on the wall how they like created like a decor piece. Watch, you'll see right now. Really nice. Oh my goodness. Like so pretty. You can see right there, it says homebody, family, gather. And then these are cool. That was like metal and then it's like cut out, engraved. I don't know. <laughs> Not engraved because it's kind of like holy. Anywho, so that's me. Hi. And some mirrors. They had clocks, um, plant holders. This is a kitchen towel. So cute. Uh, this is one of her books. I think she also has like recipes because I've seen her YouTube channel. She like cooks a lot. These are beautiful. I wanted to bring it back with me. Um, but I didn't want it to break in my luggage. So I was like, you know what? Next time. <laughs> they have some t-shirts, some sweaters, long sleeve shirts. Um, this place was absolutely beautiful. Like just gorgeous. Really farmhouse. I think that's like the factory. Like I guess stock. Not the factory. Like stock. They have a little popcorn section right here. See what I'm doing? Super cute. We're gonna go to the bakery next. This thing is adorable, but I don't know what it is. It's so cute. And then like I think this is like a picnic area. They have like all the picnic tables. Look how cute. Look at this place. It's so nice. Look at that. It has like the lights. It'll be a nice place to get married at. <laughs> So nice, and then those are the tanks. Let me try to hold the phone with two hands. So then you can, they even have a bowl of water for your dog, cause your dogs are invited. There was dogs inside the store. I bought my mom a cute little something and I bought her a couple of things in there. And yeah, so we're gonna go to the bakery next and look how cute this little, thing is adorable oh there goes the picnic area you can sit right there and eat 
And I guess if this was open, I don't know if this ever was open or how it works. But it looks like there's something over there too. That's restaurant. That's not the bakery, is it? Is that the bakery over there? No, the bakery's right there. Oh. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Okay. Yeah, because mom said that there's a picnic area over there and you can eat and whatever. That'll be a cute place to get married at, right? Have a reception. So this is the bakery here. It was really quick because of the whole social distancing thing. They actually told us to look online for the menu. So when we came in, we just order and go. So it was kind of quick. They had cupcakes. They had cinnamon buns, uh, cookies. I wanted the cro chocolate croissant, but they didn't have any at the time. So I wound up getting a chocolate chip cookie. We had a big breakfast, so we didn't really uh, eat too much. My brother got a cinnamon bun. It was, it was good. I tasted it. It's so funny. You have to drive everywhere? Yeah, mom. Like, <clears throat> it's Texas. It's a beautiful open space. Never seen that before. So there was a train passing. I think this happens here in New York. I just never really seen it. So it was pretty cool. I had to record it. <laughs> Everybody here, you guys, has pickup trucks. And yeah, but uh, it was pretty cool. Sorry for the camera angle, you guys. I uh, wasn't doing the best job recording. But it was cool to look at. Like, does something really happen in New York? Like I said, I mean, like I said, it probably does, but not where not in my neighborhood um but yeah you guys i i'm in love with waco texas like waco texas dallas is more city and expensive to live um i wouldn't want to move to one city to another city you get what i'm saying so yeah for sure waco it's christian base um everyone is welcoming loving the hospitality what is it southern hospitality is definitely real No, you can't see it. Anywho, Graceland Realtor. Anyway, I'll leave it on the screen here. And look how cute little sheepies. I don't think I can zoom in facing this way. But we're going to go check it out and see. So beautiful here. Very, like, open space. Definitely different than New York. Not used to it at all. But, uh, yeah, Graceland Real Estate. Meadows rent Rentals. Well, we're not renting. I want to buy. But anyway, we'll see. <laughs> and everyone has a truck here, guys. Look. Truck, 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 truck. And then here we are with a little tiny car. Chuck, truck. <laughs> All right. So let's go check it out. See what they do, what they say, what they show us. I don't know if they're going to show us anything. Like, but anyway, we'll see. They're talking, so you're going to probably hear them. Hi. Okay, so what the realtor did, which... I love her, by the way. My realtor is like bomb. Definitely gonna be working with her when we come back to start the process. So she printed everything out in this specific neighborhood. I don't know exactly this specific neighborhood, but my friend Ada told me that this is a bougie neighborhood. <laughs> and these are pre-owned homes. Um, so we drove around the area. We looked at the homes from the outside because she said, if we come this time next year, these houses will be already sold so she said kind of made no sense to either, even go inside but she did print out um how the house looks in the inside uh square footage the price um like all the you're gonna see right here real quick i'll just do a quick glance so you guys can see but um yeah this one was like newly renovated in the inside it's an i think 1985 built in 1985 uh, but we decided to do newly built because for the same price, we could just have a brand new house, you know, versus having one, um, you know, pre-owned. So this was all the information there. And 
it's it's nice it's a nice area but i actually liked uh the other area that she showed us the next day which was uh when we met up with the builders we met up with two builders they showed us i think it was one two three maybe four homes now this is a school you guys this is i think if i'm not mistaken an elementary school this school is ginormous everything's bigger in texas that's for sure you see the midway uh middle school is it and yeah you guys super big and like the field like they have uh, bleachers big football field ginormous i mean and i was like amazed but this is like the little area of the town i guess <laughs> um these guys here and then now we're driving into you know where the houses are at in this location um what was i gonna say yeah so it's pretty like look how nice it is right super cute and a lot of these houses are one floor one story but the houses that we're looking into is which i didn't think i would want a two-story but nah i think i want a two-story um just because you get that loft space but anyway these are like all one story sorry for my finger what happened there okay sorry and yeah very patriotic um a lot of people here have the whole the whole state has flags their flag the state the texas flag and also um um our flag the united states flag so yeah look how nice i wish i could just put music because i don't want to keep talking like i don't know what to say but uh a lot of these houses too have backyard sheds i think on the the paper it said like workshops they call them workshops versus um sheds like i would call them a shed but uh so we're looking at the paper looking at the houses these are the specific houses that are up for sale right now and he's reading it down like you know what's in there i should let you hear what he's saying but sorry <laughs> oh my god but um yeah so we definitely decided not to oh guys remember meet the fuckers not meet the fuckers or meet the parents when like the backyard there was like poop everywhere because like something about the something what is that thing called anyway these houses have that like they're drain they're oh how can i explain this i can't explain it where the poop goes doesn't go to the sewer it goes to something else and these houses have that and i was like yeah no i'm good <laughs> where we are now okay looking at some more houses really wish i can um put music up because i don't really know what to say um, but the schools are amazing uh that was like the main thing that we had asked for was schools and work because I thought he would have to, him and I would have to like work in Dallas and it's an hour and 40 minute drive out. No, definitely work in Waco. He definitely could find a job there. His job, he has a union job, so he will be able to transfer if there's, you know, in that specific area. Mm -hmm. If not, um, then it's okay because she said there's work. Like there, she asked him what he does and he's a carpenter. And as for me, I work from home right now, but um, I also have experience in retail. I was a manager and I was an office administrator. So I do have a okay resume. And um, if I have to find work for whatever reason, there's, there's definitely work here at Waco, Texas. So, and driver license at 16, 17 years old. So if we move over there, my daughter has to get a driver's license. Uh, yeah, but I'm so excited. I I really want to make this dream come true. And uh, we, we are. We're going to do what we have to do. So hopefully this time next year we'll be in the process of moving or, you know, going through that process of moving. And we also stopped at um, a f like a couple of stores. And this was like, I don't know the name of the store, but the guys, you know. Put on the cowboy hats look cute they're very expensive oh we had uh dinner and then we went to hobby lobby 
and the sign was there. I would love it so much. Look at the flags, you guys. Remember I told you about the flags? Yeah. And it's huge. These flags are huge. Everything big in, big in Texas for sure. And I met my friend Ada, the paper treasury here on YouTube. You guys go make sure to go check her out on YouTube and Instagram. And I'll check you guys next time. Bye.